Niwayota chapter is tighter than that okay sign. In fall 2016, yeah, you know we gon' sign. 11 charter members, that's our foundation. 22 collegiate women started this organization back in January 1913. Over 100 years ago, dreams became reality. They had a master plan to do service and take a stand. And when people said they couldn't, they said they can. 25 presidents and seven regions later. Thousands of members and it keeps on getting greater. And PHC is the click we rep. This is the mixtape. Deuce, deuce up next. 11 plus 11 equals 22. That's a powerful number. So let me tell you about the trailblazing 22 that follow the dream. And in 2016, we still reign supreme. 22 on my line. The 22nd president. Everybody loves me, even ASU resident. Gwendolyn Boyd, I'm a woman the first. At the top of my game, even at my worst, it's like, oh, and I love to love you, Delta. Hey, <laughs> Oh, and I love to love you, Delta. From cotton fields to the classroom, didn't have much, so that knowledge took up mad room. There was a time where learning was a privilege, not given to everyone in the village. I grew up with a conscience and I stayed woke. Just try to be a lot of voice for my black folks. But doing equipment was the start of my legacy. Guess God put greatness in my destiny. I suffered Roosevelt, then later on Hoover. Just call me the civil rights money mover. I didn't do it for the power of the fame. Just wanted some respect on my name. Dorothy, I hike. What a beautiful name. I did a lot of hard work to obtain this fame. One, two, three, three, the same as DST, was a national president in the 50s and 60s. Social activist, no woman left behind, started ECNW, one goal in mind. Helped to segregate schools, empowered the youth, got the Jefferson Award, so I am the truth. Before Hillary Clinton, there was Shirley Chisholm. Started my campaign with words of wisdom. I ran to become the first black president. Scholarship and service was surely evident. With my sisters behind me, I couldn't fail. I still worked hard, they were on my trail. I didn't win a race, but I didn't stop because of pride and courage. I remained on top. When I was a young girl, I had a dream. And when I grew up, it became reality. I fell in love with the brain, fell in love with children. It became my profession, first black female surgeon. I'm in the hall of fame received many awards i should end this way but i have to say middle name irene daughter of a queen life wasn't always golden it was crimson and cream